Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Cat Chat Live. This uh, edition is about K-Week, UK's Fall Welcome Week for new students. We understand uh, that we likely have some parents and families who are watching um, of our new students, and you may be joined by your new students. So you'll see information directed both to parents and families and to our students as well. My name is Nancy Stevens, and I have the pleasure of working with both K-Week and with our Parent and Family Association here at UK. Um, I've been a part of K-Week for many, many years. It's a, a rite of passage uh, with every August. And with me today is one of our amazing K-Week student leaders. So I'll let Jackson say hi and introduce himself. Hi, everyone. My name is Jackson Hughes, and I am a student here at the University of Kentucky on our K-Board, which is kind of a group of student leaders that helps plan and execute K-Week. It's a lot of fun to be on, and I'm so excited to be here with you all today. Well, and I appreciate Jackson joining us. He's been chairing our marketing and technology committee. And so if you've been following K-Week on any of our social channels, you'll see the good work of Jackson and his wonderful committee. So we are going to share some information about K-Week. We'll take as many of your questions live and answer them. Um, and if we don't get to them live, we'll make sure we follow up with you in the comments. So if you have any questions as we're going along, encourage you to drop them in the comments and we'll be checking those along the way as we're sharing some information. But to get things started, we wanna tell you a little bit about why K-Week. So as you hopefully know, it is the second step in the orientation process to UK. And we know that our new students have a variety of needs when they're arriving back to campus in August. We know it's really important for them to meet people and start making friends. And so there are going to be a lot of opportunities to connect with other new students, with current student leaders, and with faculty, staff, and administrators. So that um, meeting people aspect is going to be a big part of K-Week. We also want to provide lots of opportunities for our new students to connect with ways to get involved on campus and with some of our UK resources. You learned about some of these resources during Big Blue Nation orientation, but this is a chance now that the fall semester is about to get underway to make sure that you know how to access these resources should you need them. And then we want students to have some time to um, go around to different events. We want them to, by the time the first day of classes rolls around, to feel more comfortable navigating campus. And um, certainly not uh, to be underestimated is the power of free stuff, um, free t-shirts, free food, lots of free swag at lots of the, the K-Week events. So um, students over the years talk about um, you know, how they, they don't often pay for food during K-Week that they just look on the app, see what's going on, and plan their meals around what events are going on. So that's a great way to, to manage everything for sure. And then I also listed on here, I think that um, it sometimes goes overlooked because so much of the focus on uh, K-Week is on our new students. But um, K-Week also provides some really wonderful student leadership opportunities for our returning students. And so you can see there, on the screen, the um, picture on the bottom is of our K-Week board. These are student leaders. That picture was taken at their retreat in January. So they have been working all year long to make sure that K-Week is a wonderful experience for our incoming Wildcats. And so um, even beyond participating in K-Week as a new student, those student leadership opportunities in subsequent years are important as well. So we wanna start by um, going through the schedule for K-Week and sharing some of the key events that will be going on. Those key events are the ones that we um, want all new students to attend. Those are kind of the biggest, most important events, but there are many, many other events that will be going on during K-Week beyond the key events. The key events are already up on our K-Week website and in the UK Guides mobile app. The full K-Week schedule of events is being finished up um, almost as we speak, um, and will be up on the app in the next few days. But we're going to highlight those key events um, and going day by day. So K-Week starts on August 16th, a week from today, which is the last day of Big Blue Move-In for our incoming students. On Monday, we did a Cat Chat Live all about Big Blue Move-In. So hopefully that got a lot of your questions answered, but the housing website is also a really good source of information 
for any of those, of those remaining move-in questions. During the day on the 16th, we want new students to stop by the Gatton Student Center Harris Ballroom and pick up the official K-Week 2023 t-shirt. Um, we'll have student leaders there handing out those shirts between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. So it'll just be a quick drop in to grab the t-shirt and uh, go, go about the day and, and be ready for our first big event of K-Week that night. K-Week will be starting on Wednesday night with Big Blue U. It will be at 8 p.m. in Kroger Field. This is where students will get to hear from President Eli Capilouto. Um, there'll be other speakers as well. They'll also get to learn all of our wonderful um, athletics traditions, cheers, chants. They'll see the marching band, the dance team, cheerleaders. Um, and then last but not least, they'll get their photo made on Kroger Field. So that's something that each incoming class um, anticipates. That photo is very popular. You can see it behind the screen or behind me on the screen is last year's class photo. In fact, I am somewhere over here in that photo. Um, but Big Blue U is certainly one that we don't want students to miss. It will start probably at 8 p.m. And so students need to be in their seats uh, so that they don't miss out on any of the fun there. Um, next, um, I'm going to talk about the next day, which is day two of K-Week. It's going to be such a exciting day with starting with your college meetings there. Each college has different meeting times and places, so that information will be on our UK Guides app, and it'll also be advertised on social media from the K-Week Instagram and also your um, college's, your student's college Instagram and social media accounts. Um, these meetings are really important, and oftentimes they're mandatory just because they share a lot of information that's important for new students in their major, such as academic resources, classes that they have to take, they get to meet a lot of ambassadors for the colleges or their advising um, staff. And so it's a great opportunity. Um, and oftentimes they also have food and all other free stuff. Um, but after that, later in the day, um, we have an event called Campus Ruckus, which is put on by our Student Activities Board. And this is where students will first meet a bunch of uh, student organizations and where they'll find uh, places on campus that they can explore their interests outside of the classroom. And it's a great opportunity. This is one of the biggest and best events of K-Week, besides, of course, I think Big Blue U. I'm just a little biased. But um, it's going to be on South Lawn, which is an area newer to last year. Um, it's between the 90 and the Johnson Center. But if your student gets lost, our social media will be able to explain where it's going to be as well as UK Guides. Yeah, for our students who are living in those um, central campus residence halls, South Lawn is going to be really easy for them to access, and a lot of fun will be had at Campus Arcus for sure. On Friday, throughout the day, we offer a variety of opportunities as part of Pick Your Path. So there'll be sessions going on throughout the day all over campus on a variety of topics, and students get to um, decide how they want to spend their day. They'll be um, you know, different sessions that they can go to. And so we encourage them to pick two or three based on their schedule and their interests and to check those out. They'll, they'll be able to connect with a lot of our campus resources there. They'll get some free stuff. Um, the photo there is from the transfer tie-dye last year, which was an event specifically for our incoming transfer students with our team from undergraduate admissions. So lots of fun, lots of ways to connect with those resources. And all of those different options will be in the UK Guides mobile app in the next few days so students can get a, a look at some of the offerings that are available. On Friday night, we are excited about the Wildcat Welcome Festival. It will be in Alumni Commons, which is a space that's likely not familiar to um, many of you. The area along Rose Street has been under construction um, in recent months, maybe longer than that, or maybe it's just seemed a little longer than that. Um, but we are excited to debut the brand new Alumni Commons, which is uh, um, being funded by our UK Alumni Association. And so the K-Week team is partnering with the UK Alumni Association on Friday night to showcase this space. There will be um, free food and music and games and activities. Um, it'll be going on between six and 10. 
At 8 p.m., one of the things that we're excited to offer is a chance for our incoming students to get to meet lots of people. We'll be playing some get to know you games. Our KB student leaders will be out there and it'll be a lot of fun and a chance to, um, to make some connections, get to know some folks on campus. Um, and we're excited to debut that alumni common space. Again, it's all along Rose Street, but we'll specifically be in the area around the chemistry physics building, which everybody just calls Kim Biz. Um, and the mining and minerals building. And, and yeah, we're excited to, to showcase that space. Um, so next um, on Saturday, August 19th, the biggest part of the day will be spent with registered student organizations having their events and open houses across campus throughout the day. All of these will be in the UK Guides app, but also on BB Involved, if your student is not already familiar with that, um, our social media will explain how to find BB involved and find your students event pass, which we'll talk about later. Um, but so there are going to be a lot of opportunities to meet people and to talk with student organizations that maybe you didn't get a chance to talk with at um, Campus Ruckus or even ones that are just hosting bigger events so you can see more what they're about than just at their table. And then later in the day, we have uh, one of our famous events that our Student Activities Board also helps put on our Catapalooza. This is kind of where in the Gatton Student Center, a lot of the offices and resources that are available to students that are in there are going to be showing off and going to be um, kind of just introducing themselves to students, helping students get familiar with the lay of the land that's in there. Um, and that's going to be from 7 to 10 p.m. Yeah, Catapalooza is always a lot of fun. I think there's a hypnotist this year. They um, will have events and activities all throughout the Gatton Student Center. So that's a lot of fun. Um, also on the screen, you can see a, a photo of a student leading a tour. One of the things um, that we'll be offering during the day on Saturday, our K-Week student leaders will be available to help students um, learn a little bit more about the, the physical space on campus. They um, are, will be encouraged to have their schedule of classes out and our student leaders will be available to help them find their classroom buildings. Um, help them find, you know, kind of uh, additional places to study in between classes or places to grab a bite to eat. And so those classroom um, and campus tours will be listed in the K-Week um, mobile app in the next few days. So then last but not least, on Sunday, August 20th, um, like Jackson was saying, many of our, our registered student organizations will continue to be hosting their own events and open houses throughout the day. The UK Guides mobile app will be the best source of information for all of those different offerings. And then we'll wrap up K-Week the night of the 20th with our K-Week celebration from 7 to 9 p.m. in the Gatton Student Center Grand Ballroom. At the celebration, students will be able to sign a banner for their class. They'll um, get a copy of their class photo. They'll be able to pick up some refreshments and they'll be able to learn about a lot of the events and activities that will be coming up during the school year in the weeks following K-Week. Um, sometimes we hear students say that they don't know what uh, there's going to be to do after K-Week. And so we want to assure them that there will be many more events and activities coming on campus. And so um, stopping by the celebration will be a great way to connect with some of those other opportunities that follow K-Week. Now that we've reviewed the schedule, I wanna talk a little bit about some of the other opportunities we have for our new students as part of K-Week. One of the new things we're debuting this year are K-Week interest groups. These are 22 interest-based groups that are led by our current student leaders. And we encourage new students to choose an interest group or two to join as a great way to get to know others with similar interests and to ask questions of our current student leaders and to um, hear about opportunities to meet up during K-Week. These will be hosted in GroupMe, um, so that'll be an app that students will, will need to use and will be using quite frequently, I suspect, beyond K-Week as well. You know a number of residence halls and student organizations also use GroupMe. Um, you can see there on the screen a screenshot of our um, student staff GroupMe where they were starting to introduce themselves, and, and so that's the kind of chatting that students will be able to do through that. All of the interest groups are listed on the UK Guides mobile app and on the K-Week website. And so students can go ahead and start joining those now. They, they will really be getting underway on Monday the 14th, but students can go ahead and start connecting um, with others in those group meetings right now. 
I'm also so excited to be talking about this year. We are having our first ever K-Week scavenger hunt. Um, we have been working hard planning and trying to come up with different things to do around campus. And this is really a great opportunity for students who have made friends during K-Week to be able to explore campus with them and also to be able to learn more about the university and different places on campus. Um, so our scavenger hunt will be going through the app Scavify. So if you want to download that app, um, we ask that you create an account using your UK email address. Um, and so the scavenger hunt will run from the first day of K week, which is Wednesday, August 16th at 8 a.m. to August 20th at 6 p.m. And that is the Sunday and 6 p.m. is the cutoff time. And then at 7 p.m., that is when students will be able to come pick up their prizes at our K week celebration as well. And so to join, you just got to download the app, create an account using your UK email address tap find a hunt and then search k week 2023 once the scavenger hunt is live you should be able to also just have it appear because of being on campus um but just in case you can't find it there's that option as well um so you basically have a bunch of tasks that you have a point value for and so you're trying to complete as many tasks as you can trying to get as many points as you can and then a certain amount of points will get you a certain prize or a few prizes if you get enough um, and it's going to be super exciting. Please remember that to be eligible for prizes, your student must sign up with their UK email address. Our student leadership team has been working hard um, to put the scavenger hunt together. They have a lot of different um, tasks and challenges for our students to complete. It would be fun for our students to do that with roommates or suite mates or folks that they've met through the interest groups, or it's something that they could do on their own. But all of these tasks are um, to help them get to know campus and get to know um, some of the resources and things like that a little bit better. So we're excited to to add this to K-Week this year. In the mobile app, you've heard us refer to it a few times. Um, that's where a lot of our K-Week information lives. You can see on the screen a few screenshots from the app, um, including all those QR codes to join some of the different interest groups. The um, one thing that, again, is is still in the works is the full K-Week schedule of events. So the screenshot there is from back in, in 2021. Um, because there will be more than 100 events going on, we are putting the finishing touches on those, making sure everything's ready to go to market um, to students. So that's why why you're not seeing that um, in the app just, just yet. Jackson, are there any other features of the app that we should point out? Um, a lot of what we post on social media might have some changes, so it's really important that your student does get the UK Guides mobile app and selects K-Week 2023, just so they can see all the updates as they're happening as well. Jackson, I also see we have a, a question that's come in in the comments asking for any sneak peeks on the prizes that students can win in the scavenger hunt. I would love to talk about some of the prizes. Um, some of our K-Week staff and my committee have worked very hard on trying to think about prizes that students are going to want, that students will use. Um, and so I know for sure in the next day or so, we will be posting our graphic about the prizes, but I guess a sneak peek's fine. Um, so we are having some hats that have the K-Week logo on them and some umbrellas that are sturdy because the wind tunnels can be a little crazy at hectic times. But... Um, we want to make sure that your student is prepared, so we want to make sure we're providing that for them. There are also a bunch of things such as um, UK branded blankets and UK branded plates and mugs and things students might want in their dorms. So we're going to have a lot of options and just be prepared on social media for that release in a few days. All right. I like a little sneak peek for folks who are tuning in to the Cat Chat Live. All right, thanks for that question. Keep those questions coming in the comments. We're happy to answer them. The other thing that you'll find in the UK Guides mobile app, and this information is already in there, are some pre and post K-Week fun that uh, folks can have. Among the pre K-Week fun is an event called Kentucky at Kroger. Our partners at the um, Kroger store on Euclid Avenue just down the street from campus for um, several years, they have hosted our incoming class at their store for a late night shopping excursion. 
They provide buses to their store and it's a great opportunity for our students to pick up any items that they may still need um, for their rooms or things that, that they, um, you know, once they've gotten settled into their, their new spaces that they realize they could use. It's a place to stock up on groceries. And even if they don't have anything on their shopping list, it's just a place that they can go um, and have some fun. There'll be free stuff, there'll be activities. Um, one of my favorite things about going to that event is watching the folks who are just there, you know, from who live maybe live in the neighborhood or nearby and they're just doing their normal grocery shopping and they're um, typically stunned to see all of these students and maybe the wildcats and um, all sorts of other things going on during their normal grocery run. And so that's a lot of fun. Um, and that will be happening the night of Tuesday, August 15th. And those details are in the UK Guides mobile app under Pre-K Week Fun. Um, one of the things that students will also be doing um, during and prior to K-Week is picking up their UK-issued iPads. Students should have gotten more information via email about that pre-registration process, but they will go over to the Cornerstone um, building at the corner of Avenue of Cham Champions and Winslow, Winslow Avenue um, between the 15th and the 17th. Um, in the mornings and they'll be able to pick up their, their iPad and it is just one feature of an overall tech takeover of the Cornerstone. There'll be a resource fair and a lot of other fun opportunities and um, ways to connect with different resources at the tech takeover. And then also um, in the app are the things that will be coming again, those major events that happen after K-Week in the early weeks of the fall semester. That's listed in the app under the fun doesn't stop. And so that's where students can learn more information about things like the student involvement fair, the part-time jobs fair, the education abroad and exchanges fair, homecoming, family weekend, and more. So check the app for all of those opportunities. We want our students to continue to go to those events. One other thing that we have kind of mentioned once or twice was BB Involve or your student's event pass. Um, so just make sure that your student is getting their event pass ready. Every time that there's an event that's on campus, your student will need it, not even just during K-Week, it's throughout their whole uh, undergraduate career. And so it's really easy to download it and you can actually save it to your Apple wallet or your Google Pay. Um, you just log into BB Involved, and then in the top right corner of your screen on your computer or phone or tablet, you'll see an initial or a profile picture if your student has already set it. And then right there at the top will also be your event pass. And you can also use this link um, that's in this PowerPoint um, to get there as well. Had a question that just came in about the event pass, um, asking what email address students need to use for that. Jackson, you want to take that one? Sure. So the only way you can get um, your event pass is by logging in to BB Involved. And once a student is uh, attended orientation, their BB Involved account is already created for them. So they just need to log in with their Link Blue ID and their Link Blue password, and they should be good to log in and get their event pass. All right, thanks for that. You also had some tips, Jackson, that you wanted to share for students to make the most of K-Week. For sure. So as a student, I understand, um, as a student who's participated in K-Week for three years now, so um, uh, I have some tips and tricks that can help students use the most of their time during K-Week and also get a lot for their experience. Um, and I wanna really stress, I can't stress enough about getting out of your room, meeting people, um, making sure that you're, along with that, taking time for yourself to decompress, but then make sure that whenever you're have you're going to another event, you're ready, you're excited, um, because part of, you know, getting out there and meeting people is just how you feel as well. Um, and I want to make sure that everyone understands to note when the key events are and attend as many as your key event or as many as your schedule allows, just because we want to make sure that students are getting the most of their experience, but it's also a lot of fun. You're also going to be a bunch of people. You're going to get a bunch of free stuff. Some of them have free food, and I I can't see why you wouldn't want to just go. Um, but again, try to give yourself time to recharge because we know that it can be a lot if you're out all day and then you sleep and then the next day you're out all day again. So just make sure you're planning that into your schedule as well, um, and rely on your built-in support system, your RAs, your peer mentors. It, those back at home, if you've made any friends, you know, they're all 
a lot of students, all the students know what you're going through with K-Week. They've all been through it as well. Um, and so, and especially your parents and family back home are for sure going to be able to support you through it. Um, and my last two tips are to check your UK email daily, just because we want to make sure that you're not missing any announcements, but also because during K-Week is when a lot of your syllabi will be posted and your Canvas courses will open. Um, so just make sure you're checking your email for any updates from professors, from K-Week, from any offices, if you need to speak with your advisor. Um, and then my last tip is to please, please, please make sure you're drinking water and hydrating, you're eating, you're taking care of yourself. Um, there are resources on campus if you have any questions or need assistance. All right, those are all good tips, Jackson. Thanks for sharing. Uh, for our parents and families who are watching, we have some tips for you as well. We know that this is a time of transition for the entire family, that your student is uh, is experiencing this, but then you'll have a lot of excitement and, and maybe some stress and anxiety for them as well. That's all normal and natural. Um, but as you're talking to your students during K-Week, you know, ask them what events they're attending. Hopefully they're taking full advantage of the schedule like Jackson talked about. If they are telling you that they're not attending a lot, um, you know, maybe it's it's time that they need a pep talk from you about getting out of their room, getting out of their comfort zone, um, putting themselves out there to meet new people. It can be awkward. Um, we understand that, but it, it's the best way for them to start finding their place in their community on campus. So ask them what events they're attending. Um, if they are telling you, and I heard this a lot over the summer at orientation from our first year experience ambassadors, if they are not quite as responsive, it may be that they're attending a lot of events. Um, and so while you may want a, a you know, blow by blow of everything they're doing during their day, they may be busy and they may not um, want to take the time for that. And so, um, you know, we'll try to see that as a good thing. I know sometimes it's hard when you feel like they're not making um, time for you like you might want, but um, try to see that as a, a good sign that they're connecting to campus and, and things like that. So touch base with them, uh, but also understand if they're not able to get back to you right away. Um, again, that second tip is along the lines of encouraging them to get out of their comfort zone, even though sometimes it could be hard or awkward. We want students to say hi to others, to say, hey, I'm going to go um, over to the Student Center for Catapalooza. You want to walk over there with me? Um, you know, to set up those meetups. Part of the um, reason we have those K-Week interest groups is to make that a little bit easier for students that they're already connecting with folks who have similar interests. Um, but we do want our students to put themselves out there um, and K-Week is a great opportunity for them to do that. We also encourage you all um, as parents and families to follow the University of Kentucky social media channels, the ones for the Parent Family Association, K-Week or Student Activities Board and visit Lex, our Lexington Convention and Visitors Bureau. Those are all good sources of information on social media. They'll be posting um, events, updates, activities for students um, to participate in. And so those might be things that um, you wanna share with your student, encourage them to check out. And when you're visiting Lexington, and we hope you will during um, the fall semester and certainly throughout your student's time at UK, those may be activities um, that you all wanna check out while you're here as well. Obviously, it takes a little bit of time for students to, um, you know, get used to a new community, to start finding their place. So we encourage um, some patience in that. Folks don't make their lifelong best friends from college overnight. Um, but we do um, encourage you, if you think your student is struggling during the transition, um, encourage them to reach out for support on campus if they need it. Some of those peer leaders that Jackson mentioned earlier are a great source of support. Folks like um, RAs for students living in the residence halls, um, peer mentors if they're in a learn living learning program, RK Week student leaders if they're in those interest groups, um, and, you know, faculty, staff, administrators, all of us are here to support your student in this transition. Um, but we do hope students will reach out and ask for that support. Uh, as I often say during orientation, as much as I wish we were mind readers, um, we were not blessed with that skill set. And so if your student needs support, we hope you'll encourage them to ask for it. Um, and if you would like to reach out to the university, we encourage you to contact the UK Parent Family Association, and we're happy to help um, uh, connect you with resources, tell you a little bit more about how you can support your Wildcat. And then we cannot overstate the importance of students checking their UK email um, daily. They'll miss out on important information if they don't. 
um, that's you know where they'll they'll be getting so much information from UK from their instructors. It's it's important for them to create that habit of checking that email. All right, I see that we have a handful of questions that have come in, and so we're going to answer those right now. I saw one about um, transfer students and their involvement in K Week. So K Week is not just for incoming freshmen; it is for our transfer students too. We acknowledge that our transfer students are in a different situation than our incoming freshmen because they do bring some collegiate experience with them. We certainly want them and to feel welcome to attend as many K Week activities. Um, as they're interested in those college meetings in particular on Thursday next week are of importance for all new students. But we know that transfers, because they have different needs, they may see some events that are, are on the schedule that are not as of, as of much interest to them. And that's fine. We understand that for them. But those college meetings on the 18th are certainly um, very important and not to be missed. And all those details about the college meetings are already on the K Week website. All right, let me scroll through some of these other questions that are coming in. I see one about the UK Invest program and K Week attendance as a way to earn money for UK Invest. My understanding from talking to my colleagues on campus is that UK Invest is going to be officially launching after K Week. So participation in K Week. Um, wouldn't necessarily be tied to UK Invest, but UK Invest will be um, involved in some of our activities during K Week, and so your students will be able to connect with them and get more information. And again, they'll be able to um, learn more about UK Invest as it rolls out by checking their their UK email. All right, I saw the questions about transfers, and I think we addressed those. Um, we'll put some links in the comments about um, iPad pickup. Again, those, um, in, uh, those details are on the K-Week um, app, but we can put some of those in the chat for those who have questions about the emails to pre-register um, for iPad pickup. I also see a question about um, parking during K-Week. During move-in, um, our Cornerstone Garage and our K-Lodge are open and free of charge for folks. KLOT actually does not start getting controlled for permits until the first day of classes, I believe. And so that's a place that folks can park throughout. Over the weekend, many employee parking lots are available to anyone um, to park in. So for those weekend events, um, they may be able to park closer to them if they need to. I also know from our colleagues in transportation services that the um, bus system will be up and running throughout K-Week. So it's a good time for students to start learning how to use the bus, um, especially when they can do so maybe with a little bit um, more leisure time and not when they're worried about trying to get to class on time. So if our students will be using the bus during their time at UK, K-Week is a good time for them to learn how to do so. Um, in fact, there's even a pick your path um, session that teaches students how to use the bus on campus. Um, the Transportation Services website is always a good source of information for any of your parking and transportation related questions. They also have an email newsletter that you can sign up for that I always encourage students to um, make sure they get. And they are also, um, they have accounts on both Instagram and Twitter. And so I know as a university employee, that's where I sometimes see my transportation related updates is on, on their Twitter page in particular. Jackson, are there any other um, thoughts that we have not not shared? I'll let you talk a little bit maybe about the ways to, to connect with us with this, um, with this slide, and then I'll see if there are any questions that we have overlooked. If you have any last minute questions, be sure to drop them in the comments right now so that we can take those live. For sure. So on this slide, you can see the different ways to contact us. We have our email and phone number, but also please do not hesitate to reach out on our Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok accounts. Um, we also will check those, especially heavily during K-Week and right before as well. Um, during K-Week, anything that might happen, like if there's rain or any locations are changing, we will announce that on our Instagram especially. Um, so just be mindful of that follow that, have your students follow that. Um, and anywhere you see the K-Week logo is somewhere that will be. So feel free to ask questions to our student leaders all about that, if all about anything you might have questions about.
Oh, Jex, we got a question in the comments. Is the same handle for the TikTok account? I uh, occasionally enjoy some TikTok, but I know that you all are more the experts on that than I am. Yes, our handle is the same across Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Um, if you already follow our Instagram, in our bio is a link for our link tree, and you can get to all of our social media on there as well, as well as some other important links that we will be sharing if we have not already shared. All right. Thank you for addressing that. Yeah. Social media is a place that we will be promoting any last minute changes that have to be made to events and activities. Uh, we hope you'll join us in keeping our fingers crossed for no rain um, because many of our activities will take place outdoors. Um, but yeah, any last minute changes will be announced via social media and through that UK Guides mobile app. Um, one thing that I'm not sure that, that we touched on necessarily earlier in talking about the app is that um, it's uh, the app is best used when students log in using their UK email address. So um, as students are downloading that app and signing in, we encourage them to sign up with their UK email address to get a more personalized experience with it. Well, not seeing any other questions coming in, we will wrap this up. If you um, watch this later and have questions, don't hesitate to drop those in the comments. We'll continue to monitor those after this live chat. If you joined us midway through and want to see it from the beginning, we will um, leave, this will be still available on our Facebook page. And later today, we'll be loading it to our YouTube channel so that you can um, go back and view it or, or, or view it again if you need to. But we appreciate you tuning in to join us for this, um, this Cat Chat Live. And we are excited to have your students join us for K-Week starting next week. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and and we're we're excited to welcome them and you to campus. Thanks so much. Have a great day and go cats.